Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Uh, just so you know, I just recently moved into my new home. I can't find my lights, I can't find my mics, and I can't find my wall balding clippers, but I'm still going to make this video. There is a cool, cool feature in Microsoft Word for the web. It is the dictate feature. I've actually showed this a couple years ago using Word, Outlook, and PowerPoint, the dictate feature, and I was on my desktop doing it. And the issue I had was it did work, but a lot of the, the punctuation worked, but a lot of the other features didn't work, like making a numbered or bulleted list, uh, using undo, um, turning on bold and italics. That stuff wasn't easy. But on Word for the web, it does work. So let me run you through this. So I've already signed into my Office uh, Microsoft 365 account. I'm actually using my Microsoft 365 Home account. This also works, though, with my Microsoft 365 Business account. I would also, uh, I pulled up my free Microsoft account that I have also, and I saw Dictate over here also. So let's go ahead and get started right now. And I'm going to cover punctuation, editing, formatting, list on this video. Um, here we go. I've got Word running. I, I typed in this one sentence just so you can see what I'm doing. But here is dictate. I'm going to click it once. You're probably going to be asked to allow Microsoft to access your microphone. You want to click allow. Then this icon is down here. So here's test one. I'm going to just start saying sentences. Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Thank you for joining me for Microsoft Word for the web using the dictate function. If you notice, there's absolutely no punctuation in there. So option one, I'm going to turn on dictate. And I'm going to read the punctuation myself, but I'm also going to do a new paragraph. New paragraph. Hello, I'm Chris Menard, period. Thank you for joining me for Microsoft Word for the Web, period. Are you going to the store later this evening? Question mark. New paragraph. So... That was actually pretty easy, but they've got this cool feature. If you come over here to the dictation settings, you can simply tell Word to auto punctuate for you. So this is this is the default settings when I came in here. So I'm going to turn on auto punctuate and let's give that a test. Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Thank you for joining me for Microsoft Word for the web. Are you going to the store later this evening? If by chance you go to the store, can you pick up some bread? If by chance you go to the store, can you pick up some bread? Pause dictation. Okay, so it all depends on how you're reading your sentences. I did that one twice, I know. But the cool thing is I do see the punctuation in there automatically. So you can either say the punctuation marks yourself um, or, and by the way, you can actually say comma, period, colon, semicolon, open and close quotes are all acceptable punctuation marks it'll take. Or you can let Word for the web handle the auto punctuation. I'm just going to leave auto punctuation on for right now just to keep it easy for myself. So let's go now and look at some editing features and formatting at the same time. Editing would be undo, delete, delete last word, delete last sentence. I do want to point out one thing about editing. It's got the undo and delete. I noticed it didn't have redo, but I'm okay with that right now. It does have undo. Uh, for the formatting, I'm going to do some bold. I'll do italics. I'll do a strike through. Um, I'll format a few things. And I'll do some 
alignment, left align, center align, and right align. So let's look at those features. By the way, I use the command pause dictation to stop dictation. I have not figured out a command to start it again, so you do have to click it with the mouse. We're going to have our annual retreat in Las Vegas next year. Some of the topics we will cover will include delete last word. That actually worked. Delete last word. Delete last sentence. Still working. That's pretty cool. One of the cool features about Word for the web is not only do you have the dictate function, you also have the editor function up in the top right corner next to dictate. Delete last sentence. Undo. Delete last sentence. Pause dictation. I want to see how many undos we can do. Undo. 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 Yeah. Quite a few. That's an, okay, so it's working. Uh, let me continue now. So there was undo and delete last word and delete last sentence. Let me try some formatting. So this is the one that really somewhat aggravated me when I was using Outlook and Word and PowerPoint, the desktop version with Dictate. This was the stuff that really bothered me, plus the bulleted and numbered list, which I'm going to do right now. But let me do the formatting first. Bold, italics for sure, and I may do subscript or superscript. Let's get started. Hello, my name is Chris Menard. Bold that. We are using Microsoft Word for the web. So far, so good with the dictate function. Turn on bold. My name is Chris Menard. Bold on. My name is Chris Menard. Turn on bold. My name is Chris Menard. So that's clearly not working saying turn on bold, but bold that did work when I said, hello, Chris Menard. I'm going to test that one again. I'm going to figure out this bold real quick. Bold. Hello, my name is Chris Menard. I hope you're enjoying this short video. I believe bold should still be turned on because I turned on bold, so everything should still be bold right now. It is working as I expected, which is good. Turn off bold. Hello, my name is Chris Menard. So we're in business right now. Um... Let's try one more. I've already done it once. We are using MS Word. Bold that. Pause dictation. Okay, so for bold, we have, you say your words, and you say bold that, and it'll bold that. Or you can just say bold, which turns on bold, and then everything's going to be bold that you, that you say. And then I said, I believe, um, turn off bold, turn off bold. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there we go. New paragraph. Italics. We're having a good day in Marietta, Georgia today. Italics is turned on. Turn off italics. 
And finally, the last one, new paragraph. Start list. 2022 annual budget, new line, travel and entertainment budget, new line, HR employment manual, new line, turn off list, exit list. So to start the list, I said start list to add a new line. I said new line. And then to get out of the list was exit list. That is pretty easy. One last test on this, and I'm wrapping this up. So that was a list. Let's see if it'll do numbers. So here we go on this one. It should be start numbered list. So we got start list and also have start numbered list. But both of them, you get out of it by saying exit list. Start numbered list. This is working as expected. New line. You can do formatting in Word, new line. You can also do editing in Word, new line. Once you get going with this, I'm just showing you how this works. So I'm talking a little slow, new line. It actually picks up what you say if you're talking normal speed. Exit list. Exit list. So it is working. Uh, I'm going to wrap this up. I'll put in my description on YouTube uh, all the commands. I'll also put them on a blog post that I'm going to write. And if you have any questions about this feature, one question you're going to have is, hey, you're on Word for the web. Does it work on Outlook for the web? I looked. I did not see it, which means you're not going to see it in Excel for the web or PowerPoint for the web. I would imagine it's coming soon. I'm also going to put Microsoft's support article down in the description on YouTube. And again, I'll reference it on my blog post. And you can see that they have different, I'm here on the web right here. Anyway, I do appreciate your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any comments, any questions, any suggestions, let me know. And hopefully I'll find my hair clippers, my microphone, and my lights by next week. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.